Hey guys, welcome back. Um, last video with the baler, I told you guys we had another uh, another purchase show up. Um, we got to, to use it. Um, let's see, I only used it one day, but uh, um, had to kind of figure out and get uh, get my bearings with it. Um, see how it was going to work. So, um, about a month ago, I went uh, to a convention, um, and uh, I took you guys along. If you didn't catch that video, it's, I guess it's nothing special if you didn't catch it, but um, I said while I was headed up there, I was looking for, uh, we're looking for a manure spreader. Well, well we bought a manure spreader. Um, nothing that come out of that uh, couple of days there. Um, now the first thing I did on that trip is I stopped and I dropped the parts order off uh, in Walpaca at the Swiderski Swiderski equipment. Um, geez, they're getting a lot of. I'm gonna have to be my sponsor pretty soon. Not that it matters, but. Uh, so we dropped a big parts order off. Well, uh, two weeks after that, um, they have a appreciation meal. Uh, every day of the week, they, they go to a different location. Um, well, that week when, uh, I believe on Thursday, we get the Ag Review paper. Um, farm paper and uh, they have a, they put a lot of ads in for equipment while well, we saw this spreader sitting uh, in the paper uh, it was at the Thorpe location so um, Friday Friday was our day to go for meal we went up to Wapaka uh, ran into our salesman we chatted up with him told him we were looking we were gonna head up to Thorpe uh, after after we ate and got our parts um, so he looked it up made some phone calls um, it was still there so we we uh, road tripped up to Thorpe which was I believe an hour and a half at least an hour and a half further um, and then it was three hours a good three hours home I think maybe not quite three hours but it was about three hours home um, looked it over, called them Monday, um, and we made a deal. So we got an H and S. This is a H and S uh, Hydra Push 550 spreader. Um, I this is kind of this style, the Hydra Push. Um, I've been I've been looking for a Hydra Push. This is kind of, this is what I wanted. If money didn't matter, I wanted a Hydra Push. Um, now this was uh, very reasonably priced. Um, and I mean, we, we weren't just looking for Hydra Pushes. We were looking at everything. Um, around here, we, we don't really uh, have a, preference on uh, you know color around here we just we need it to work um, be in decent shape and um, you know be affordable um, I say that we very rarely finance anything but you guys know on uh, last video that I did buy a brand new large square baler, <laughs> but uh, for that, for what it, what it is and what we need to use that for, um, I think that's what we needed to do. So anyways, this came up in the paper and uh, we took a road trip. We went up and looked it over. Um, oh, it's... It was in our price range. That being said, I mean, it's a little rough. 
Um, nothing really noticeable. The chains here on the back end were pretty dry. And uh, there is one more little issue here, which I did notice at the time when we looked at it. Uh, this key this key here on the top beater is sheared. This has got two horizontal beaters here um, Which I mean the beaters are in good shape um, All the bearings are okay. The chains were dry. Um, I tried ordering The chains they sent me the the ones they sent me are not right. I do need to So I got two 80, 80 heavy chains here, or well they're 80s, whatever they are, if they're heavy or not. Um, they sent me an 80 and a 60. Um, I tried to put the 180 on here and he was he was short. Um, maybe we gotta get a little tight, put a little tighten on that. Uh, I don't think this one's any shorter but we can try it we'll have to try it uh, so when we looked at it I know I did see this um, I'm prone to seeing random things that I probably shouldn't see but I, I did see that um, tried to have that included in my purchase um, told them I'd give them this amount if they deliver it and fix that key well the manager up there uh, had no interest in fixing that key I guess um, but they did take my offer uh, now I ordered I well I tried to order I tried to order the chains and the key to uh, we're gonna I was gonna pull the sprocket off replace the key no big deal uh, figured I, I can handle that um, this sprocket is stuck tight. Um, I had the gear puller, I had bars, I had, basically I beat on it for an afternoon and it didn't move at all. So, now that one sheared, I'm pretty sure, I didn't know, I did not notice this at, time, at the time when we looked at it, but I'm pretty sure this is welded. So, It's what you get with buying used equipment, I guess. Uh, key sheared, but it still runs. And we did use it like that. Uh, we decided that if it was stuck that tight, that maybe, maybe we should just run it and see what happens. And if it ever does break loose, we should be able to get it off. Um, while working on that, I noticed the bottom was welded. Uh, well, I, I noticed that as soon as we got it home, for the most, or not as soon as we got it home, but so um, we're gonna keep these bearings well greased. <laughs> it's four, four bearings, two on each side. We're gonna keep them well greased, and uh, hopefully. For a very long time we don't have to deal with any of this um, at least the bearings on the sprocket ends the other ends um, you can get them off I mean that that's pretty simple so um, So yeah, this is this is the only only thing that I see. Um, I believe one of these cylinders for the lift gate was leaking a little. Um, nothing real noticeably noticeable, um, and we we have a shop we can take that to if it ever becomes that bad of an issue. Um, uh so we got a little dial here for uh you can control the speed of the push um now the perks of having a brand new tractor 
with uh we got an IntelliView 5 display in there I can go in that screen and I can change the flow for each one of these hydraulics there's no uh, I don't think there is anyways see so yeah, on the other tractor I, I have some knobs around so I can change the flow um, you just you kind of adjust the knobs this doesn't have that because I can do it right through the screen everything's electronic that is very handy for this particular uh, machine here so say we're hauling manure and uh, just rained and it's pretty pretty loose soupy material we always like to say soupy but you know what I mean um, now if it's real we probably won't use this spreader if it's really really soft stuff but you know pretty soft on the softer end I can run I can maybe run that push just a little bit faster now if we start this spring here if we start getting into our bed pack um, now that spread that's a little bit heavier denser you know what I mean it spreads a little it's gonna spread a little bit harder um, I can really slow that down and we can really let the beaters do their job um, I can run it quite a bit slower and still be faster than that other that uh, uh, our side slinger spreader our New Holland uh, we did keep that spreader um, like I said if it if, uh, if we really get some rainfall and we absolutely got to get in the yards and clean them off uh, that spreader is going to excel a lot more than this one um, this one is meant for like uh, I think you'd say the semi semi solid or the solid manure um, that one would be the liquid the semi solid um, and we we can you can get by with solid I guess bed pack but it does that spreader does you, you gotta it takes time it's gotta it's gotta run that uh, manure out this this one I think is so much more efficient especially for that so um, this was my purchase uh, we decided um, that I was I was gonna take this one slowly uh, buying in around here I guess uh, next I got to buy the house so that'll be fun um, but uh, but yeah we we had an H&S 430 that 430 I had I got some videos of that using that um, my dad always said that they got that thing about the time he was in high school he figured so that was uh, 30 40 year old spreader at the time at, at, today that thing is about 40 years old probably um, I don't remember the year on this one but uh, I think early early 2000s if I if I'm not wrong maybe late I, I don't remember I think there was a date but I don't remember it so anyways um, we got a lot of use for this coming up here uh, once the once the ground firms up again so uh, we'll definitely try and uh, get some footage of it so um, I guess I don't have a whole lot else uh, other than you know it is it is an older machine it is kind of I can't say it's worn out I can't see anything on it that says it's really wore out but there's not a whole lot to the machine there's uh, there's really not without without that apron chain in there that bottom chain um, 
two great big cylinders that would be a bear if they ever start the seals ever go out um it's got to be one gearbox and then the, the sprockets which are going to be probably the worst thing on this thing to fix but i mean other than that shaft running back to a gearbox and uh and i haven't even looked i don't maybe there isn't a gearbox maybe it's gears i it's got it has got to be a gearbox i haven't crawled under there and looked but uh i mean there ain't a whole lot to, to fall apart i guess um and if it does it it's not that bad <laughs> i say that now but um so yeah so stay tuned we'll get some uh, footage of that here probably probably not this week maybe next week uh depending uh, i'll try and get some footage of that um april it is april now um we have ten thousand bushel booked for april so uh, this week we gotta try and get 10 loads out um, got a few loads of bales to go yet Qu quite a few loads of bales uh, two or three loads of wheat straw um, we got 250 bales of alfalfa 50 bales of wheat baleage uh, 200 maybe maybe 200 bales of uh, soybean straw. I just kind I just uh, shot the guy a text this afternoon to see uh, if he was going to be looking for that or not. If not, we'll we will uh, probably use them ourselves. Uh, if not, move some. Um, we got a bunch of uh, DNR hay to move yet. Probably five or six loads of that. So we got a lot of bales to haul. We got a lot of corn to move. Uh, we're gonna just keep keep chugging along here and get get everything uh, sold before springtime, I guess, or uh, at least the new new crop coming in. So uh, the corn we're gonna we're gonna have corn probably all summer because uh, we got it. We got to keep some around for the steers and. Uh, we just kind of slowly trickle it out um, till till the fall when we start picking again. So, anyways, we'll see you next time.